Welcome back to the vlog. We're excited to see more cars in the next couple of days. Let's go. First stop of the day is very sketchy. Uh, sketchy? Yeah, because we're like, we're in the middle All of the road. Right. That's yeah, where we we're can going. go in the middle of the road. Yeah. But because, you know, we're, after Triomphe. We're here, the, the world famous. But this is pretty iconic. It's crazy to see, like Alex was saying, yeah. it's a lot bigger in person. Hey. Yeah, definitely a lot bigger. And then we came from the subway, actually. It kind of catches you off guard every time. I know, it's, it's beautiful to see here. And uh, now we're going to go. <laughs> I'm joking. It's very normal here in Paris to go in the middle of the road, get your shot, and this is just the reality of it if you want to get your Arc photo, which is actually really nice. And we're going to take one as well. It's a common theme here in Paris, in France, maybe in a lot of Europe, that these massive monuments are so detailed, and it's actually quite intricate. And you can actually go on top of the Arc de Triomphe. It's like, I don't know how much it was, but I remember seeing it online, and yeah, you literally get the view of I guess Paris up Links there. in the description. <laughs> There's no link in the description because we're not doing it. It's a pretty cool spot, but it's super busy. Yeah. Super sketchy in the middle of the road. And it's like a busy road. Because mm. it's like a roundabout, right? Yeah. And then there's two roads literally next to us. I think it's always busy like this, right? Whenever yeah. you see in the movies. I think it would be, yeah. But now we're going to go move somewhere else and get some food. Myself a salmon linguine. Alice got the chicken and mashed potatoes. It looks so good. I honestly want hers. No, I'm hungry. But yeah, we got the Arc de Triomphe in the background. Let's see if you can behind that massive tree. But this is actually a pretty good spot to have our lunch. I'm gonna try the food. We are paying a little bit of money for this. So. Top dollar. <laughs> Mm, that mash is so creamy. The chicken's a little bit dry, to be honest, but the mushroom sauce is kind of like making up for it. And the serving is generous too, so. I've had so much uh, pasta already this trip. Like two meals. Yeah, I don't know. It's good though. Mm. Good. <laughs> Nothing too crazy, but it's good. <laughs> We made it back in town, sort of near the Louvre area, and this yeah. place is called Rue Saint Honno, like the street. Yeah. Full of designer brands, actually. Yeah. So it's a sight to see being here, and all the buildings are very nice. Yeah, too. that's right. We're just walking around, kind of just checking out what the town looks like, and the the buildings is yeah quite stunning. It's so different to what we're accustomed to, whether it's the Philippines or Australia. Yeah, it's just full of it. around uh, the city and just different parts of town. It feels like a movie, hey? Yeah, I was just saying that like, it feels like a movie set, but we're here, we're li it's legit. Like it's we're for real. We're finally here. Because it just doesn't, it's so surreal to see these types of buildings. Yeah. Uh, we should go get that coffee soon, hey? So now we made it here at Tuileries Garden. It's a massive yeah. urban garden yeah. and with a view of the Eiffel Tower and also the Louvre, really relaxing here. And a lot of people are just chilling, um, I guess people watching. But yeah, so we're gonna sit down and have a bite because yeah. we actually bought a croissant, <laughs> pain au chocolat, and orange juice yeah. just to fuel this up a little bit after walking around the city. So we found our spot. We're just sitting right here by the fountain. And there's actually duckies here before. They're actually gone now. I finished and my uh, pain au chocolat. He good. devoured that in like two seconds. It was all right, it's not like authentic. Yeah, yeah. we still need to find a boulangerie. Boulangerie? Mm -hmm. at a Jacmo, which is a French brand. It's you served. have like a bucket hat of it. Yeah, I have a bucket hat that I got from online. But now here we're here at the shop at Galleries Lafayette. Galleries Lafayette is so beautiful. 
We've been walking around for just a little bit and it looks like an opera. Yeah. Like an opera know. house. It's so grand, like yeah. massive, so intricate, like it's, a ceiling. Yeah, and the color palette, like blue mosaic, orange, some brass there. But yeah, it's so beautiful in here. And it's a department store, like how can they do that? Like it's the bougiest it's department like store. RT department store. So this is practically a rich person's department store because it's it's all, all designer. designer. Yeah. The designer brands. I feel like everything that you can think of, they literally have it here in Gallery Spot. Yeah, and like they even have tax free. Yeah. So you can claim the tax back. Yeah. And literally, did you say it's fifteen percent off? I think it's about. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's about fifteen percent off. So yeah, you can get tax free literally right here in this mall. We've made it to Zara. We're on a mission for a bag. Well, we're not on a mission. No, not this one. Well, I feel like they're a little bit cheaper than if we were to buy it in Australia. How about the Philippines? Philippines, I think, yeah, a little bit cheaper as well here. Here in France. Yeah, here in Paris. Like just the conversion and everything. What are you thinking, guys? Got this bag here. Or are we digging this? Kind of fits my color palette it's right like now. It's like a caravan. bag. I'm kidding. I'm not getting these. <laughs> Does even manage to find something here in the men's? Oh my gosh. I like it. Oh it's my a goodness. Lot. Thirty-nine euro. Super clean though. Twenty-five euro. I like this because you can just hold it like this. We've also got this. Been looking at something sleek. There's also this uh, another one called like a. It's not a called a croissant bag. It looks like a croissant, but. I don't know, I'm kind of digging this too, to put the small lenses in and some batteries. Just something stylish. To... And it's very light. Yeah, so light. My camera bag's just been giving me like, like shoulder soreness. It just weighs me down, so I'm looking... I think that's gonna hold it. I'm not gonna pack everything in this. Just gonna keep it light, so... But it looks stylish, you know. to this building behind yeah. us and it's actually Paris Montparnasse Tower and it's pretty much overlooking the Paris city so we're gonna head up there and it will show you what it looks like from above we made it to level 56 of the 56, building. 56 is it? Yeah. Ooh. So this one's the closed off area. I think there's gonna be a terrace up there. Right now we're seeing all of Paris. It's so Ooh. it's just kind of white from up here. Yeah. And on the ground they even have like these massive signage saying the Louvre or I guess yeah. the Eiffel Tower, which we're gonna check out right after. But yeah, so it tells you what's in the what's direction you're that you're looking at. And what we noticed here as well in Paris is that there's not much traffic. Not like, like heavy traffic. Yeah, not heavy traffic. A lot of people take bikes or... Mm -hmm. Yeah, to I get guess, around. Yeah. I guess like the train as well, right? Yeah, the subway so for sure. So like a main mode of transportation. The streets aren't your typical like blocks. Yeah. It's like different shades, like more triangular, yeah, honestly. Yeah, pretty much. It's definitely a different look to your typical like western type of city. Yeah, and there's yeah. not much skyscrapers too, right? Mm. They're pretty much all leveled. And then you get the Eiffel Tower, which is like the Sticking tallest, out. pretty yeah. much. This is a pretty hectic view as well. By the way guys, if you want to do this activity, click the links in the description down below. We booked it through Kluke and you can get 5% off using the code Chino and Alex 5 off. It's actually such an awesome view, you know, seeing all of Paris and of course the Eiffel Tower being lit up at night. Bonjour! So we made it here at Montmartre. This is our day two, or For technically day three here in Paris. Yeah, day three in Paris. So we're gonna check out this amazing historical suburb. Town. town. Let's say town, let's call it town. First order of business is get that authentic croissant. Parisian croissant. We're currently here at Pan Pan, which is a top rated boulangerie here in Paris or in Montmartre. The squad is selection here. They've got a lot of variety for sandwiches. Um, but I think we want to get something sweet, more desserty, um, yeah. pastry. But yeah, everything looks so good and it smells so good in it's here fresh, too. Hey. Yeah, everything's fresh. Literally just all around here, sandwiches, baguette. Baguette. <laughs> okay, we've already got our pastries. Yes. 
We're gonna stand somewhere just on the side here. Set up right here. And give it a try. I'm gonna show you what we got. So I'm excited. We got a classic croissant. We had to give it a try. Okay, this so. is legit, guys. Legit. Let's try it out. Should Let's we try go. it out? Yep. Okay, it's a little like it's a little flaky and has a nice air to it. We're <laughs> not really connoisseur of pastry, but mm, mm. that's good. Oh, it's so flaky. Mm. It's pretty good. I feel like this is good with like coffee as well. Dipping it in like hot chocolate or something. Do they sell coffee? Yeah, they do, right? Mm. Okay, we were mesmerized by the tarts in there as well. Yeah. So we got this tartlet framboise pistache. So it's raspberry and the pistachio is like mm -hmm. in there. There. So there's the <laughs> green so there, good. hidden underneath the, yeah. the raspberries. It's like a pistachio down there. It's huge for one person, I just realized. Mm. It's nice and fruity. And the mm. base is like actually pretty sweet. Oh, I love that. Mm, yeah. The pistachio is like not too overpowering, which is good. But then you get like the freshness of the raspberry. Look at Yum. that. Look at the pistachio. I love it. I can't believe mm. we've only tried it now on our last day yeah. here in Paris. <laughs> this is what I ordered a tartlet passion framboise. Framboise? Framboise. <laughs> 5 euros 95, I believe. Ooh. Mmm, that's very good and um, yeah, lemony, quite sweet too. Damn, that's so good. Definitely check out the range because they sell a whole lot. But yeah, if we could only try all of it, we <laughs> could, we would. Yeah. made it here at Sacre Coeur, which is the Basilica. There's quite a bit oh, of yeah. tourists here. That's epic. And it's for a reason. It's literally a famous landmark here in Paris. This is pretty much the scene here. It's actually a lot of people here right now, or every day. Okay, so we are now at the foot of the church. It's right here. It's quite a bit of people for sure, and they've got a lot of souvenirs on the sides here. Actually, a lot of buskers, really artists, singers singing along here. Like instruments. Yeah, instruments Playing as well. Playing instruments. It's super common for people to just like sit down and hang out on the stairs overlooking Paris. And it's quite an amazing view. So you can look at the view of Paris. And this side is the Basilica itself. We were thinking of heading into the Basilica, but there's this line that stretches around the, the area. Yeah, it looks like at least one hour, probably. No, probably two. I'm sorry, mom, I can't go in there. I know you would definitely want me to go in, but I'm just gonna Look. admire it and pray from the outside. <laughs> okay, so as you can see behind me, the Sacre Coeur, but we're actually on the back of it. Yeah. This one is a, a lot more quiet. I don't think a lot of people come here. Obviously, they just look from the front, but this is a good almost. I the perspective of the Basilica. Look at that. It's so majestic from here. It's crazy. And your furnace beautiful. will be like beautiful here too. This park is a good spot. Yeah, so this one is Square de la Tourlure. So we're actually <laughs> literally just out here taking photos where yeah. I last vlog. <laughs> but yeah, this is an, an amazing spot because there's, Look. it's pretty peaceful. And you get that Sacre Coeur there. Beautiful view. And really relaxing actually. You can just sit here, admire the basilica from this park. Chef's kiss. So to the left of the church, this is a narrow street with yeah. a lot of shops and yeah. some places to eat at, but mainly souvenir. Looking at more souvenirs, are we? Yeah, I want to get like a print yeah. just to put on a frame. This one's here are really cute. There's so many, but I would get maybe like a black and white. So nice. One for three euro, which is not so bad, right? Put it in a frame, that's your souvenir. I realized we haven't had any proper food yet today. So it's super late now, it's 12.30, that's, okay, that's not that late. Perfect time for lunch. After a quick research, we're here at La Bon Franque. This restaurant has been around for four centuries and a lot of the historical artists used to dine here, like Van Gogh Whoa. and Monet. And, no way, Monet. Yeah. 
<laughs> no way, Monet. But yeah, so this is a very special spot here in Montmartre, or even the whole of Paris. And look and at our view. And it's also like cobblestone streets. It's very authentic here. Wow. It's hard to believe that we are here right now. Like this whole trip when we're seeing these new locations and places and building facades, it's mind-blowing and it's beautiful. So I ordered cappuccino, Alice got an orange drink. We did order food too, it's coming right up, but look how foamy this is. That's so foamy. Yeah, food has arrived. I got myself an Angus burger. I know it's not very... Uh, cultural <laughs> um, but Alex got chickens it's covered in like cream, cream. very cheesy right yeah. there's rice mm. yeah I was really contemplating getting um this beef dish mm. but it looked kind of small on Google so I was like hmm let's not risk it oh yeah actually good that's so creamy yeah. and the chicken is so tender so every time we eat at these restaurants we pay about 50 euro for both of us. Right now it's 47.60 for the two meals and two drinks. And so a quick walk from the cafe, we've made it to... Champ de Mars. Champ, so Champ. It's pretty much the foot of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. And it's almost like a garden, I think. Yes, garden, sort of a, a park as a well. A grassy area. And yeah, this is where you can sit down, prop your stuff, enjoy the nice view of the Eiffel Tower. There you go. Ding. It's actually so huge in person, guys. With these ultra-wide lenses, it makes objects seem a lot further away. We don't really have a picnic blanket, yeah. so we're gonna make do with what we have. Yeah. And that concludes our time here in Paris. It has been such an amazing first time and sharing it with you guys. We hope you enjoyed the yeah. video. This first few days have been pretty magical, yeah. sometimes chaotic, like trying to get to this spot. Oh, took it took us, us so long. Took us way too long because the public transport was just not showing up. But we yeah. finally made it and just enjoying the day pretty much to end the night with the Eiffel Tower yeah. here. This is a classic spot so definitely check this area. So we hope you enjoyed this video and if you did leave it a like, click subscribe and turn on the post notifications because uh, we got a few more vlogs coming out. Next stop is Italy. Italy. See you then. Bye.